Even after wearing it for two weeks, half the time, I forget the Fitbit Versa is on my wrist. It's the lightest, least obtrusive fitness tracker I've ever worn. Yes, it's got a duller design than last year's Fitbit Ionic, but it's also a much better smartwatch than that one was at release, at a much lower price, too. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is the Fitbit Versa Review. The Versa is one of those products you really need to use to understand. Seeing it on the screen, it's natural to draw comparisons to the Apple Watch, or maybe to the old Pebble Time put out by the company Fitbit acquired in 2016. Not being a fan of square watches or big bezels, I didn't find a lot to like in the Versa when I saw the announcement. But when I slapped it on, the featherweight build made me forget all about the casing design, and the mostly black interface distracted me from the big picture frame here. The display is small, but it's great. It's vibrant and plenty bright for outdoor use. And while it is a touchscreen, you also have the option of using the side keys to control some of the UI. You can also assign long press shortcuts to some functions, which is very handy. If you're used to watches from Apple or Google, the feature you'll probably most appreciate is the endurance. Instead of charging every night, I was able to get through a solid four days wearing the Versa and once up to six days when I turned off notifications and just used it as a fitness tracker. That means you can keep it on your wrist most nights, and the Versa will track your sleep quality using an always-on pulse monitor and accelerometer. I like learning about my sleep patterns with this feature. It's easy to forget that health isn't just a step count. Oh, in the same vein, this spring both the Versa and Ionic will get updated with female health tracking features. When you do need to charge it, the cradle is a little bulky, but at least it's straightforward. Squeeze to charge, squeeze to stop charging. Despite the broader take on health that devices like this are encouraging, most folks still think of exercise when they see a Fitbit. To test out those features, I went to my least favorite place on the whole planet, the gym. Fire up AOL Instant Messenger, I, I mean the exercise hub, and you'll get customized tracking for things like running on treadmills or ellipticals or my favorite, weightlifting. To see more of Michael Fish Out of Water, please subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube. Okay, in all seriousness, the exercise modes work pretty well for tallying things like calorie burn and so on. And there are 20 custom workout profiles in the app if you're less of a runner, more of a spinner or martial artist. I was dismayed not to see kayaking, though. When you're not in the gym, you can get a quick snapshot of your current activity level by swiping up from the bottom of the screen, or you can swipe down from the top to see the most recent notifications passed on from your phone. Step counts over my two weeks with the Versa have agreed with other devices on my person, though the Versa does like to give you a lot of bonus steps that you haven't really earned. I get constant pats on the back for sitting at my desk typing, which um, I don't think is intended. For folks who need a different type of motivation, Fitbit Labs has some experimental apps like Treasure Trek, which turns walking into a pirate-style treasure hunt. Fitbit says apps like this get some users to log about 50% more steps per day. Get further from fitness and the Versa stumbles a bit as a smartwatch. The software is still fairly bland in design and more sluggish than pretty much all of the competition. There's also this annoying bug where you'll get multiple vibrations for the same alert if you haven't checked old notifications when a new one comes in. Tough to describe, but basically it just means your wrist is buzzing a lot more often than it should be. And while there are plenty of watch faces available, there are very few third-party apps. Those things come with time, though. After years of designing devices with a pure exercise focus, the Versa is only Fitbit's second real stab at a smartwatch, and the pace of improvement from the Ionic release less than a year ago has been impressive. The Android Quick Reply feature is coming soon, so you'll be able to respond to messages from your wrist. Uh, this and many of the Versus features will be backported to the Ionic. Given that fact, and the Ionic's other advantages for fitness tracking, like standalone GPS, you shouldn't feel the need to buy the Versa if you already own the earlier device. But if you're looking for your first wearable and you want something that splits the difference between fitness tracker and smartwatch, 
Yeah, the Versa is a very good option. That's especially true if your daily driver is an iPhone. As an alternative to the Apple Watch, the Fitbit is less expensive and a bit less complex, with substantially better battery life. Over on the Android side, the question is a tougher one. Officially, Fitbit only supports a handful of devices, most of them laughably old. Its broadest compatibility is with Samsung phones, which is weird because Samsung already sells a compelling suite of fitness wearables in its gear line. So yeah, lots of room for improvement on the Android side of things. The Fitbit Versa goes on sale April 16 and comes in three colors for $199. That's for the version I reviewed. Toss in an extra 30 bones and you can pick up the special edition graphite or rose gold editions with custom watch bands, like my leather and metal ones running you 50 bucks a piece. And uh, be prepared for some frustration when dealing with those fiddly release switches. I think those prices are fair. Despite its rough patches, the Versa is a much stronger product than I might have expected as a sophomore effort. And it's my new go-to recommendation for those in search of an Apple Watch alternative. This video was brought to you by Thrifter. Thrifter is a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to home goods by shopping based on value and not hype. Check out the latest deals at thrifter.com and tell them Mr. Mobile sent you. Folks, if you want more wearables, check out my recent reviews of the Motive Smart Ring and Movado Connect and let me know what you think of Fitbit's latest efforts, the Versa and Ionic, in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.